What's going on, Android lovers? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from your number one source for all things Android, AndroidAuthority.com. Today we're going to be reviewing Activision's brand new uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies game for the Android OS. Now this has been out for a while on the other horrid iOS systems, but uh, it's finally come to Android and Sony has the licensing to this for about a month. So at the time of filming, uh, it's only available on these Xperia devices. I'm running this on my Sony Xperia Ion. We've got our 1.5 GHz dual core Snapdragon S3 processor pushing the graphics behind this awesome game. I'm going to go ahead and see how it goes. Uh, this is our main menu starting off, our main user interface. We have single player gaming modes. Uh, we can choose our player profiles, buy some Call of Duty points. Also, we have our co-op multiplayer mode. We've got extras available, and then we can uh, choose more apps by Activision. Let's go ahead and check out our extras first off. We have controls, configuration, uh, settings. We can restore the default settings, view the credits, view about the game, and view tutorials. Check out what's under settings. We have detail level. Gonna go ahead and turn that all the way up so we can play this on our Xperia Ion. It'll look just uh, beautiful. We can choose our music volumes. A lot of you hardcore gamers might uh, recognize this. Of course, it's the same music for the Xbox. And uh, we can enable our sound effects. I'll leave the music on just for novelty and we'll go back. Checking out our single player, we'll go ahead and go in there. You can see we can uh, start a new game or we can continue games that we have previously saved. That's a really cool functionality. I like the uh, ability to save games. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one though. It gives us a prompt that we'll be erasing our previous game. Now we can choose uh, our players such as Nikolai, uh, Masaki, uh, Dr. Edward Richthofen, and Tank Dempsey. So I'm going to choose uh, Dempsey. Then we can choose our levels. We have our tutorial, Kino de Toten, Dead Ops Arcade, the Ascension level, and then the Call of the Dead Director's Cut. My favorite is Ascension, so we're going to go ahead and play that. Uh, and then we have our difficulties, Recruit, Regular, and Veteran. So I'm going to choose Recruit for the sake of the video. I uh, am not that good of a player yet. Let's just go ahead and continue. We have our usual loading screen, the same one as on the Xbox. Got some nice little uh, hints down here usually. This one says, kill yourself with a grenade, disappoint. So anyways, the graphics are pretty good. They're running um, pretty well on the Sony Xperia Ion here. We do have our 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. So you can see the controls are pretty responsive. Let me go ahead and turn the uh, music down just for a second so we can get my commentary. I know you guys just love to hear my voice. Uh, anyways, um, very responsive. We can move around like this. We have our left stick controlling um, our general movement, and then our right stick controls our finer aim. You can simply tap this button to hone in, and then we just tap the screen to shoot. Turn it up just so you can guys get enough of the sound effects. Automatic reload. This is how we stab. Just press the knife button. Got some dropping from the ceiling. Let's try to stab one. Controls take a little bit getting used to I'm trying to no scope these guys. Have our classic quotes, Tank Dempsey. Oh. Really nice gameplay. Full featured. Uh, we can get our Perca Colas. Over here is our quick revive, so we'll go ahead and get that really quick. We have five hundred dollars. I'll show you what it's like to get down. Oh, the zombies kill me really quick, so I can actually uh, show you. The Perka Colas do work. We have all of them. Um, we got the stamina up. What else is there? PHP flopper available. Um, what else? Basically all of them. I'm pretty sure all of them are available. I'll let this guy get me down. And we can shoot our... Uh, I think they're called the Mustang and Sally when you get the, tool pis the dual pistols when you go down. You see, it takes more hits than in the Xbox game to get down. Very nice sound effects. The brilliant sound of having your ears ring when an explosive goes off feet in front of you. <laughs> um, so anyways, let's go ahead and go through the full level really quick. I don't think I have enough money to open the doors just yet, but we will uh, try it. Ah, I'm getting lost here. Anyways, it is running very smoothly. We'll go ahead and go back. Uh, we can save and quit here. Go back into our main menu show you just a few more of the features and then you guys should try it out yourselves if you do have an Xperia device it's going to be coming to all of the devices not just the Sony devices here uh, very quickly just for about a month Sony has the licensing on it uh, let's try our co-op multiplayer and see how this goes we have our local Wi-Fi connection um, we can play online with our buddies don't have any friends right now who have a Sony device 
So I am uh, SOL on that. Let's check out our buying the COD points. We can buy these points. And uh, let's see what we can do with these points. We can use them uh, for new weapons, perks, and new areas. And we can also use them... Um, you can buy from the main menu or in-game or single-player use only. So that's pretty cool. It's got a great interface. Um, it's heavily developed. Really fun to play. Uh, check it out for your Sony devices, you guys. Uh, it's just a blast. If you love the Xbox game, you're going to love the mobile version. $7 in the Play Store. So it's got a somewhat heavy price tag, but not that bad. I'd suggest getting it if you're a Call of Duty fan. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, we appreciate the views. This is Clayton Youngberg with AndroidAuthority.com. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Peace, guys.